Hello everyone. I'm here today to tell you about chicken wings. To be more specific, my specialty chicken wings recipe. So we're going to go over the steps and ingredients needed to make this delicious rendition of a spiced roast chicken recipe that I converted to chicken wings. Who knows, you may end up loving it as much as I do. All right, to get started, you'll need a few tools in your cooking belt. First, a stove, a nice large size frying pan, some good old barbecue tongs, scissors that are used for cutting meat, a sweet looking apron, a large baking sheet, and of course, last but not least, this cool chef's hat. All right, after you have all your tools in order, now we need to do the same with our ingredients. I find it very helpful to organize uh, your ingredients into little dishes in a nice clean area. This also helps make cooking in general a lot more fun because you're not running all over the place looking for everything. Now, speaking of ingredients, I want to hit on the importance of the word fresh. Now, you don't need to go slay your own chicken, but you do want to make sure to pick up uh, fresh chicken wings from the market along with the rest of the ingredients that I'm about to go over with you. Just remember the fresh, the fresher the ingredients, the better the wings. Okay, so your ingredients for this delicious masterpiece are the following. You need, of course, the chicken wings, two tablespoons of butter, one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, one tablespoon of maple syrup, two tablespoons of roast chicken spice blend, get, off, get with me offline if you want to know the contents, and finally, one bunch of thyme. Also, it doesn't hurt to have a little salt and pepper on the side. So we have all our ingredients in order in nice little dishes for easy access. And with all the ingredients pre-measured and ready to go, the next step in the process is to preheat that big bad oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, while that's preheating, we can get our chicken ready for the bake. To prep the chicken wings, you want to first give them a good scrub down. Just run them under some cold water and uh, use your hands to get them nice and clean. After they are all rinsed and wet, uh, line your baking sheet with some, with some paper towels and lightly dry them off. This is an important step to making sure that your seasoning sticks to the wings well. So, the next part is a little aggressive. With the chicken wings nice and clean and lightly dried, we're going to use our meat scissors to cut off the thumbs of the wings. Now, I call them thumbs, but they're really just the tips of the wings. You want to cut right at the joint and be sure to remove any bone shards that are left behind. This step is optional, but it makes it much easier to eat for later. Well, that's pretty much all the prep work before we actually start to cook. The last step is uh, getting these guys, before getting these guys in the frying pan, is to coat them in our spice blend. You're going to also want to hit them with a little salt and pepper. The seasoning should be dispersed across the wings uh, evenly and applied to all sides. Honestly, the amount per wing is totally up to you and your taste buds. I coat mine pretty thick. Okay, finally it's time to start cooking. In your nice large size frying pan, heat up some olive oil. About a cap full or two will do. Once the oil is nice and hot, you're going to place in a few chicken wings at a time. Now we're not actually trying to fully cook the wings yet, we just want to brown both sides. It should only take about four to six minutes uh, till you see them nice golden brown. Once we, look, once we have all our wings browned, we evenly place them back onto our large baking sheet. Make sure we remove that paper towel. I like to line mine with uh, tin foil so it's easier to clean up later. So the oven should be roaring at a solid 450 by now. So let's throw those bad boys in and leave them alone for about 24 minutes. Hmm, 24 minutes. What do we do? Well, while you're waiting for those things to cook, why not play a little bit of video games? Just make sure to stay close in case things get a little out of hand with the oven. I personally like the classics such as Mario. Minimum effort, maximum use of short amount of time. So you played around a little bit. Now it's time to check on those wings. With a handy food thermometer, measure the temperature of the wings. Uh, you want to do this to a few of them. It's crucial that the internal temperature is about 165 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. If it's any cooler, you risk salmonella poisoning. And that doesn't go for just these wings, but anytime you start cooking chicken. If they're not there yet, don't fret. Leave the chicken wings in for five or so more minutes. Go take the dog for a quick walk. Maybe say hey to the neighbors. Invite them over for some awesome wings that we're about to rip into. Trust me, you're going to want people bragging about your awesome chicken wing skills after this. Okay, now for the most important part of the dish. I know, you thought it was the chicken wings. But no, it's the sauce. It's always the sauce when it comes to wings. 
We have a few more minutes before they come out of the oven, so let's do it. So take the same frying pan from earlier and bring it to a low heat. Throw in your butter, your apple cider vinegar, and maple syrup. Stir until fully combined. Be careful to keep the temperature nice and low. Sugar burns at 350 and we don't want that. Okay, now that we have our awesome sauce ready to go, and maybe a few people on their way to come dig into those righteous wings, let's check those wings again. Remember, check that temperature, a few different wings, and we want to see that magic number of 165 degrees Fahrenheit. So now that our wings are ready to go, pull them out of the oven and put them in a large bowl or dish with high sides. Take the delicious sauce that we just made and pour it evenly over the top of all, our, uh, all of our now golden crispy wings. Move the wings around a bit to try and get the sauce all over. Uh, the stickier the better in this case. Now here comes the best part. Now that our wings are done, it's time to serve them. Invite those neighbors in and pass out those chicken wings. Watch as their faces are filled with excitement and bellies sent into a food coma. While they dig in, be sure to brag about your very own special chicken wing recipe. That's right. Don't tell them I gave you this info. You take all the credit and enjoy. And that's my special chi chicken wing recipe, folks. I hope you all have enjoyed this presentation and go on to make many people happy with this delicious twist on ch chicken wings. If you have any questions about the process, feel free to ask me. Uh, and soon you'll be looking like this guy. And lastly, uh, here's a picture of some actual wings being cooked. I wanted to show you just how good they really look. Uh, don't mind the fact that the thumbs are still attached in this picture. My wife tried her hand at the recipe. Uh, thumbs and all, though they were still delicious. I hope you enjoy, and happy cooking, everybody. See you later.